A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. I found a way to get any type of meat at 50% discount. It's been a big subject for a long time now. Meat prices are rising. It happened during the C virus. It happened with logistic problems. It's happening right now. And all these prices are rising and they're kind of getting in the way of you and me because we have a hobby called barbecue and it involves a lot of meat. And I know I eat a lot of meat. I cook a lot of meat and the prices of what I cook is fairly high sometimes. So I'm thinking, what can I do to make barbecue more affordable for you? Let's say you want to cook a brisket. That's a big piece of meat that you're going to cook low and slow for a longer period of time. Basically, it's tough meat. Lots of fibers, lots of fat, Lots of things that need to be broken down by cooking it for a longer period of time. What I like to do is to cut the cow in two halves. For one half, we're gonna put all the sticks, cuts of beef that are tender, juicy by itself. So all you need to do is grill them and they're delightful. On the other hand, we have parts of the cow that are tough and that need a lot of work to make them tasty and tender. Now we take that pile of meat that comes from the cow that's tough and needs a lot of work, we can make a decision. We can select the cheapest cut out of that. So if you want a brisket, you could replace that with this, a chuck. And a chuck might be cheaper where you live. Or you get one of these. All cuts that do exactly the same thing as a brisket does. If I cook them for a longer period of time, all of this is gonna be juicy, tender and tasty at half the price. But there's one more trick. And this trick applies more to people that live in the Netherlands and Germany and well, basically everybody outside of the USA. Because I found that if I order not a chuck, but the local name of the cut, I pay even less. Because this is what we call in the Netherlands an on the rib. And basically that means it sits above the brisket and it's part of the neck and shoulder. And that means it's part of the chuck but sitting at a low position. And because I ordered this cut by the local name, I buy it at the cheapest market price. Now once I got everything trimmed and I have the meat ready to be seasoned, it's time to make a rub. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of fresh ground black pepper, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of onion powder, a quarter tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of paprika powder, quarter tablespoon of cumin powder, and to finish off, a quarter tablespoon of thyme powder. Now mix that all up, and your rub is done. Sprinkle on a little bit of olive oil that will help the rub to stick. Not only if you have a fine rub, you don't need to do it, but in this case, we got coarse pepper. So a little help goes a long way. This is around two kilograms of beef, so I wanna use all of the rub we just made. And I'm gonna be smoking this beautiful piece of meat on the Bernhard Flint pellet smoker. I'm gonna load up this pellet smoker with hardwood pellets. In this case, I'm using hickory flavor style, and that should be more than enough for an eight hour cook. Switch it on and set it to 120 degrees Celsius. Now first I'm gonna let this come up to temperature and then we're gonna put the meat in. And now I'm gonna let this smoke until we get that beautiful mahogany color. My underrib has been smoking for four hours and it built up a beautiful crust. And that's all I need on the looks part and on the smoke flavor. So I'm protecting it for more smoke and I'm gonna add a little extra to it. These are slices of compound butter. This compound butter is gonna melt and it's gonna make my underrib taste even better. Now I'm gonna pack it in butcher's paper and put it back on the barbecue. I'm gonna raise the temperature to 150 degrees Celsius. Once you get the notification that your core temperature is 92 degrees Celsius, it's time to take it off the barbecue. And this package should not be opened until it has been resting for 30 minutes. This is my favorite moment. Let's take a look inside. Wow. Oh, that makes me so hungry. I think it's the combination of all the herbs, but 
especially the cumin and the butter. It just gives it more fragrance. It's, it's really, really nice. Let's slice into it. And I like my slices thin. There we go. Now that is a nice smoke ring and juicy ribs. We got a beautiful bark, we got a nice red smoke ring, we got juicy meat on the inside. Pools without are very much resistant. So I would say that's cooked to perfection. Now let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. I've seen some really over the top juicy briskets. And I think that I have to admit I like this more. It's rich, it's creamy, but the best flavor is of course from the beef and the combination with the herbs on the outside. And I have the feeling that the whole rub that you put on, it actually penetrated the beef ribs. You know what my favorite part is though? That crust that sits on the outside. That bark, it's almost a little too hard, but still very tasty. This is just really enjoyable for a whole meal. Beautiful flavors, not too much meat. And I think I've proven the point that we can make barbecue affordable again. You and me together, we're gonna hack this thing. Affordable, everybody happy. You can even feed the dog with it. Feed the dog with it? Hmm? No? No, hmm. dude, this for once, the dog's not here. Hmm. I don't know why, but let's just enjoy the moment. Okay. We don't have to share. As That's a matter of fact, it gets even better. As a matter of fact, I wanna, I wanna taste this bit, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> That's the mmm bit. Mm. If you cook this, mm -hmm. then you should keep, should keep this part for yourself. Mm. Serve the rest out and harm mm -hmm. this part, you know? Mm -hmm. Tell people it's a little bit burned, it's no mm. good. Mm. Tell them this is the best part. Yeah, I keep that. Yeah, I keep it. And this one. Yeah. But let's talk flavor. Why does it taste like curry? What's happening here? Cumin. Cumin. Oh, it's a magic. A, that's a secret. But there are more secrets, and they can find the recipe. This is how actually all those leftover briskets that you gave me, I just put some curry into it. And then you have the best curry in your life. The best curry of your life. You heard it here first, and Buff, or Over Morrison's oh. head, is just appearing the next video. Give this video a big thumbs up and a comment down below before you click. Big thanks to the patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk. That's right. And keep on grilling. That's right. <laughs>